about one week ago, one week and few days, God spoke to me. Create time for people to just praise me. Now, every time God speaks, humans look for his own personal advantages. The next thing I'm thinking is that, ah, we should create time to worship you and praise you. God wants to do something. What if he's asking us to praise him so that he does not kill us for the debt we owe? <laughs> what if somebody was supposed to die and he didn't die, but we didn't praise him enough? Uh, the greatest pain in the heart of God is not being acknowledged. So much so that Jesus said, when any work of God happens, it happens by the Holy Ghost. If anybody denies the work of God, that is a sin against the Holy Ghost. He said it's an eternal sin. I was reading in another translation during the course of the week. He said it's an eternal sin that can never be forgiven. I, I hope you know, if God has a sin that cannot be forgiven, I hope you know that each individual also has something you do that may never be forgiven. It doesn't matter how you beg. You don't know. You need to know. That's why calculate your risk very well before relating with any human being. The most didactic of all humans are the ones that laugh. It's not true, they are not laughing. They may be laughing, laughing. They, they think that you will have enough brain to know that my laughing is not for you to take me for granted. That's why, you know, it's very hard for me to take anybody for granted in the church. I don't. That's why if you text me, I will text you back. If you call me, I will call you. Except I'm having an ongoing discussion with you that is tough. If you not text me, I may not text you back. It is terrible for somebody to call you two days you have not called them back. You are telling them they are not human enough to call you. Because we know that other people have been calling you during those two days and you have been picking the call and you have been smiling. That's why God didn't allow that contract to go through. That thing you are smiling about didn't go through because you have neglected a particular human being. That your man is disturbing your breakthrough in the spirit realm. That is none of us that we are closer to our phone than the Holy Spirit himself knows. I told you to one pastor, and the pastor said, Not me. I said, I hear. May I know that my phone is closer to me than the Holy Spirit? You know, not accepting something is the only way to go and allow history to make itself. When you first of all know that this phone is closer to you, that if you, if you lose the Holy Spirit here, you may not feel it. If you lose your phone here, if you lose your phone here, eh? nobody will sleep. You see, that one has come to look for his phone. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to fall. And then he still stood up to look for his phone. We are just talking. If it is the Holy Spirit he lost, he just say, I know God is a good God. You know, you know he's a wonderful God. Uh, that, and that is it. The Holy Spirit knows that we do not care about him like we care about physical things. He knows. You think he doesn't know. And God is very patient though. God is very patient. That's why he declared an imperfect man. Say, have you seen my servant? He's so perfect. He's calling Job perfect. As I read through the trajectory of Job, I said, whatever God has called perfect, never call a perfect. Like he will look at husband and wife. Me, I look at some husband and wife. And God say, they, they twin are one flesh. I said, no, these people are five fleshes. <laughs> these are not one flesh. And in the eyes of God, they are one flesh. You see? And the human being will say, you're not really compatible. And God, you, you think God looks for compatibility for husband and wife? No. You are the one who will have to work on compatibility. Not these things that everybody says around. God only knows his will. He doesn't know many of these things that all of you know. You don't know. When you get into, when you journey into the spirit, you will discover that God called those things that be not as if they were. Because the compatibility between two people is God. Once God is there, anything can happen. Once God is not there, compatibility will change. In your very presence, we change into incompatibility. Say, I'm a rapper. He's a singer. That when I rap, he's going to sing blue. And it's so, so compatible. And anytime you're up here, I want to say, I want to go, I want to say. He says, ah, ah, ah. Very soon you'll be slapping the man that he's using to say, ah, ah, ah. He said, the thing looks like frog voice. When the presence of God is removed, compatibility becomes incompatibility. There is nobody you are not compatible with except the person God does not give you. Let me say this, I don't know how I got here. Marriage is about God's choice, it's not about your choice. 
But more than 90% of people on earth have their choices. They are not bringing God on top of it. And it's very patient. It will still help you in your 30 foot. Because a lot of the time, when God brings who he wants to give to you, you will always reject them. I did. I did. 1993 was the first person God gave to me. And I knew it. Before God will restore me, it was 20 years later, 2013. As simple as Mirella is not doing many things that all of you will expect a big pastor's wife to do. It is as a result of her blessing that I have this congregation. And God reminds me every time. Remember, you only have old people, asylum people in your church. It was with the introduction of Mirella and just crying and crying and talking to God and crying that young people began to come. They didn't just come, they stay. Am I your age mate that you will stay around me? Marriage is about who God brings to you. That is why you cannot be truly married until you have submitted to the lordship of Jesus Christ. Because marriage talks about Jesus Christ and the church. Marriage does not talk about... One of my daughters asked me the, during the course of the week, and please excuse my language. She asked me, say, what is the meaning of marriage? I said, for people to get a fuck. She said, hey, 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 hey. I said, I've just told you that's what people are looking for. That's the reason why you're looking for big-breasted. No, can you, do you want to hear or you don't want to hear? If I don't speak this thing, your brain will not come home. If I say, for people to sleep with each other, does that look like what? Please. I'm, I've, passed, I've gone beyond that. It's face to face now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Jesus was not speaking Hebrew language to people. He was speaking broken Hebrew that they spoke in Nazareth. He had to come from the squalor. He had to come from the trenches. And he was speaking. The Bible said, common man had him gladly. Because he was speaking their language. He was saying, what go on, man? Me, they, Chris. I mean, me, they, ha, everything, Chris. You'll be so surprised when you meet Jesus and say, no, this cannot be Savior. See, now, sir, see, the guy say, I'm crying now as I'm laughing. I say, I just want you to know because the major reason why many people will be asking for what is marriage is that they just want somebody to sleep with them. Yeah. But I now say the other side of it, if you really want to be married, is that God has a purpose for marriage. But you cannot get into this purpose except you are submitted under the lordship of Jesus Christ. That's why you will see somebody. The wife will be this big from here to here. And the man is jumping up and down all over the wife and he's loving the wife and he's kissing the wife and say, my, 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 what do you mean? You're just a cute guy. Look at the way your wife looks. And they say, that's who God gives me? Because they recognize God. You cannot recognize marriage except you first of all have recognized God. You cannot. It doesn't happen. The every other thing is flesh. And what flesh gives birth to is flesh. What spirit gives birth to is spirit. That's what the Bible says. That's why there are so many books about marriage. You say, how to please your husband. I don't read those books. Neither do I give it to people. Because when your matter has reached that level, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. Also with your soul. How did I get to this point that I got to? Huh? That's the reason why you see in marriage, I've seen somebody sit with me in the church and say, Pastor, it's not still married today, except sleeping with people around. He said, hey, these Christian guests that are all around that church, I don't have it from them. I need it. I need it. He said, they don't have it. That means they're not, they're not, they, they, there's no five. Because you see, when you come into Christ, it will kill many of your seductive fives. Because they can't handle devils. And real marriage attract devils. That's why you're normally pregnant like every other person. You just discover that the baby will not come. And everything that will make the baby to come is interested in real marriage, devil. He didn't come to the Garden of Eden until marriage was introduced. And he came. Real marriage attracts Satan. There's a woman that wanted to give birth in the book of Revelation chapter 12. And the Bible says Satan came there. He, he was in heaven. He was, the presence of God was there. And he said, I don't care. Until they snatched the woman away and uh, God, God was hiding a woman. <laughs> After some time, they snatched her to heaven. And the devil now said, okay, he's in heaven. Let us fight every other person that is on earth. But any other marriage, why would the devil be fighting them? He already won. So for some of you that are not married, 
Because this one does not concern people who are married. It is the marriage of God that you have done. You know? But for people who are not married, calm your brain down and say, God, speak to me. Bring me to the person that you have brought for me. I did not know nothing when I had the revelation of somebody sitting. I, I, I was around a tree, flooded by light. I was just one year born again. Flooded by light from heaven. And I said, what is this sight? And I looked. And I saw many fruit on the tree. And I said, let me reach out and take fruit. And I discovered my hand would not reach it. And there was a woman sitting on the tree and began to give me fruit. And she was my prayer partner in the church. But she was not beautiful. Don't forget I just became born again. And the preoccupation of my family was dressing well and carrying girls. If you bring a girl to our family and is uh, <laughs> you will go, you will come from the first front door, it's from the back. You will go. Because the way we won't greet. As the girl, if they say fine girl, say, Wow, this is my wife. We'll be, everybody will say, My wife, beautiful. We give our food, give everything. But you bring one Pecheche Perero. <laughs> We we'll just be looking at you. Are you okay? We don't even know that anybody entered. The guy entered, we don't know. He's from the backside. You just, as they are coming in, you just tell the guy. <laughs> so that's the only thing we are preoccupied with, and it was still in my brain. And I told myself as soon as I got born again, nobody can give me any guy and say, it is the will of God for me. I said, I know the guy that could be the will. I said, I said God wants us to have good things. That was my brain. So I will look at the sister, look at the sister, I say, I will get angry. I say, who asked? I, I went to talk to the sister, I say yes. I say, how can you say yes? I was getting angry. Sometimes I would travel away. I say, why? Why are these Christian girls so cheap? Why? How could you say yes? Don't say yes. Because you are making my, you are frustrating my life. I was, the sister could read it in my face that I was looking for a way to run. I was in that wilderness until I met with HIV. HIV. All children die. You don't know. 20 years later, God now said, you want to submit to me? That's the reason I'm a servant of Mirella. Because you miss out on who God wants to give to you. You miss out on a major thing that God wants to do with your life. You will not be struggling. I married a mother in Lagos. But I didn't know if the package came with HIV. The prophet of God looked at El Eliab and said, this is the anointed of the Lord because the way he looked. Some of you will see a guy and say, no, I cannot. This must be my wife, this guy. And the reason is that you look at the breast, you look at the bump up, you look at the face, you look at the families he comes from. You think Moses' this marriage is what happens in celebrating. There are many marriages that the person married the real will of God and there's not even money. Jesus was born in a manger. Nobody celebrated it. Only heavens. The mother and the father didn't have money to rent an hotel. But he is the king of kings and the lord of lords. It's not about noise. People like us are not moved by what is moving you. Somebody is holding the wife. They come and say, you, you will soon stop. You, you, for how long can you hold? How long can you wait? Yeah, we wait. <laughs> we come back until we are. You, you? The people who are singing also cannot wait. To. If God gives you waiting, waiting, waiting length. And just give you, you just, you just finish university and it gives you three years not to have job. Just to be praying in the church. You will say, I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you listening to what I'm saying now? Now, you know, you need to just understand what the will of God is. I pray somebody catch this revelation. Amen. You are not saying amen. amen. Because you don't like what I'm saying. You say, it has to be attractive. Attraction could come later on. This guy was not handsome. When Reki said this is the will of you are, can I bring the picture? Some of you have seen the picture before. <laughs> Nanette is the one. <laughs> no go die. <laughs> Nanette is the one who brings it. Even if it, I'm not taking back again, I say, what was as a matter of fact, I stood against it. I stood, I said I look at Reki, beautiful. Massive guest speaking in tongues, Rabbi. I said, No, the person that will marry this guy is already made, even me. And I told go and tell him he cannot. And I told him also, I said, You can never in your life. I said, You are not a man. You are not a man. Many times I told him many times. After some time, God came to me. I can't forget. He said, Are you the one who wants to marry? I said, No. And I saw, even though Senab and Ovo have been engaged before them, I saw that their destiny moved forward. Pia, and they quickly got married. And it was their marriage that was first done. Not because we planned it that way. 
That was when I said, and I called Godwin. I said, hello, Godwin. Are you still thinking about records? He said, yeah. <laughs> I said, talk to, talk to her today. You understand? Talk to her today. He was in the church. Daddy, because God kept talking to my heart. But for me, I didn't want it. Because of eyes. But this guy kept saying, I saw revelation. I saw his dad come to me. I said, where will you see his dad? He himself does not even know where the dad was that. What's the meaning? I would just say, this guy just so, has lost her brain. Beauty comes with the presence of God. Attraction comes with the presence of God. This is not how our church used to be. I was telling Reuben at the back, Brother you were there. It was, the, it was the most shameful of a church building on earth. We had red cloth, satin, red cloth, blue, white, green. It was like a shrine. One day, one pastor came and said, you are, you are putting us to shame. <laughs> I said, but I don't know. That's the way it is. Uh, we have to cover the wall because the wall is like toilet wall. The way they used to do toilet, that the two tiles. One day, Pastor Clifford there. That's the why you see. Don't go again. Pastor Clifford there. Just stay. Pastor David. I know everybody has been talking about how shameful the church is, but I want to do something about it. And he came with wallpaper. He stayed there for three days. One of those days he fell because me, I was tired in the middle of the night. I went back home. <laughs> Most of you met the church that was wallpapered. It was Pastor Clifford that came to do it. Clap for him. He came, he came there and changed the whole place that it was manageable till we came here. But if somebody was look, and I was still preaching the message that was the same message. As a matter of fact, it was even more powerful that time. Because nobody was giving me money. So the pain that I have, everybody must. <laughs> all the ambassador, every day their name. Hey, there is no, I was not eating, I, there was no wife, there was that. There, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was a John the Baptist. They were dying, I was killing them. This time around, if I talk too much now, one of the guests may come and say, Pastor, are you okay? By the time they touch me in the back, I've finished. Stephanie <laughs> Lila Anga. <laughs> At Anga Le Supreme. <laughs> are, you, are you listening to what I'm saying? You won't know that something like this will come out. Somebody will look at you now and will not know what is coming up. Glorious things are spoken of you. I say glorious things are spoken of you. I said, glorious things are spoken of you. Sinai said, look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. You will see his glory, for I know who I am. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Somebody may know, there are some people right now, let me be very, very, I was looking at one of my girls from GMIT. This girl, the way the teeth were, and the way she was tiny and there was no breast. The girl is married now to a Nigerian man. Breast grew. The bodies now, you know what I'm talking about now? My first girl. I was looking at this girl yesterday. First of all, something popped up on my TikTok and I said, Who is this seducer that want to come on my whatever? And I said, Let me look. I was my daughter. So beautiful. So I said, Oh my goodness. You will never think that this girl will be this beautiful. Some people, you look at them now. There was a guy we had in this church. As a matter of fact, there is no body. There is no... Gordy and uh, Ruben, they don't have bum bum. This guy, our home is lesser than that of Gordon and, and, and Ruben. Ruben, do God still have something little small? <laughs> this guy had nothing. All of a sudden, after lockdown, this guy came around the church here, and I called, I said, come. I said, what happened to you? Bum -bum. She was around 30 when Bum Bum now grew and breast. Just because he rested a bit walking from home, she was not under stress. You can never tell what people turn to. You can never tell what people turn to. Watch Ruben very well. That's it. <laughs> Once God is inside, something will sprout. He collect those things that be not as if they were. 
That's the reason why I was talking with my wife and Ibukun yesterday morning. And I said, look at each other as the face. Especially, I said, only look at Ibukun as the face of Jesus in our midst here. It is true. The people that I came to meet in Ireland here, they didn't come to pick me in Belfast. They wanted immigration to carry me from there. And I've given them money. After some time, they now showed up. And they made me see sleep on their couch for seven days. I couldn't remove the cloth that I had on me until I found the house. The wife would not give me food. I said, I want to eat. They said, the food is getting ready. 8 p.m. 2 a.m. The food is not ready. 8 a.m. at another day, the food is not ready. What food do I want to eat now that I don't have? Not only her, a number of people behave like that. I do not know that pastor's wives could behave that way. The rejected stone a lot of the time becomes the head of the corner because this is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. Glorious things are spoken of you. Amen. Glorious things are spoken of you. Amen. Don't write anybody off. Just hear from the Lord in relating with people. That is none of you here that I despise. I've seen life. I used to tell my wife, I said, you do not know where these guys are going. Say, Nab and Reki that time. I said, you do not know what they are, where they are going. Until the recent time, the salary of their houses is more than our salary for more than three years. And these are the guys that were just in the school. I remember when they first came in 2014. All their legs were no more than this. This is the, how the legs were. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No, leave, leave Sister Eileen. Leave, leave Sister Eileen. I'm coming back to you. Leave, 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 leave. Okay, yeah. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Never despise anybody. Just put your ears down to know what God is saying concerning somebody. Concern, don't, don't calculate based on human assumptions. Are you hearing me? Did you hear what I said? In any situation of life, never calculate based on human assumptions. Okay, that said, God told me that we should create time to worship and praise him. And like I told you, every time God talks, man looks for what he can gain. But it may be that somebody was supposed to die. God prevented him. And he didn't die. And we have not paid him. Before he now makes the person now die. <laughs> So don't always think, oh, when we give God praise, it's because he wants to do something. And during the course of the week, you're looking, for, you're looking around the street. What does he want to do? What does he not want? No, what, what if it's about what he has done? I remember when we moved into this place, we only had three cars. I was so ashamed that I was saying all the churches would be saying, see, see his coconut head. Where he stayed, he couldn't stay there. He's looking for big hall. That was, the whole place was empty. Now, I'll be telling people, go and repack your car. Go on, the park your car here. Car fill the whole place up. I thought you were clapping. Sometimes I will count several people in the old church, several people, several people for the next several months. And they are coming consistently. They, each group comes consistently for a long time and they don't go away. They just bring themselves seven. They will not, one person will not be on top until that cycle is broken. And then they will go. It can now reduce to six, another six people. And I see people coming to church, coming to Bible study, coming to prayer meeting, coming to this, coming to that. Sometimes I will just need and I say, only you can do this, God. In this country, we have seven centers. What do you think? Seven centers. I visited some of our centers recently and I said, wow. Without us even being here, look at what is going on. God is good. God is good. There are so many things God has done in our life that we need to give him praise for. So we owe him thanksgiving, praise, and worship. 